sort of like a high watermark for a lot of investors. And as they've seen the price go from 10,000, almost 14,000 in the span of a few trading days and back down to almost 10,000. Yes, but there must have been something behind it. I mean, is it institutions? What is it? Who's driving it? Because when you look at volumes, it's actually at the weekends where we see volumes actually increase, which gives you the idea that it's probably retail. I think this is still a retail-led phenomenon. The, the sentiment is back. There's been positive developments. You have the Facebook, Libra, stablecoin, which some people think will bring, bring a few billion people into this digital payments ecosystem. That's very bullish. You also just have a rebound, and it took two years for people to repair their balance sheets, and now they're back trading crypto. Okay. Why would you invest in a cryptocurrency? I think it's a call option. So either, say, Bitcoin is going to be worth zero or a lot of money in, say, a decade. So your premium is essentially just the price of Bitcoin today. So take a very, very small amount of money that you are comfortable with losing, stash it away, invest into Bitcoin, and it's either worth nothing or uh, you're going to have a nice return uh, when you look back in a decade. So it's definitely prudent for investors from a volatility and risk-return risk perspective. Okay. I mean... Like gold, there is no intrinsic value, is there, to a Bitcoin, in essence. It's how much it costs to mine it, but that's already disappears. But the thing is, gold has been a, a store of value for thousands of years. Bitcoin's only been around a few. So what, why would I put it in Bitcoin and not into gold, let's say? Well, gold is analog, right? If you want to transport a million U.S. dollars worth of gold, that's very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> now, with uh, a, a wallet or a hardware wallet, you can essentially, with a USB drive, transport a vast amount of wealth anywhere you go. And if we're really moving into a digital economy, then the way we store wealth, or the hard asset, if you will, that is pricing wealth, must change. And I think Bitcoin could be that asset. Okay, it could be. Of course, exactly. Yeah, that, that the jury's out. But it, it's got derivatives now, hasn't it? I mean, you've got uh, futures on this. You've also got more sophisticated zero coupon uh, Bitcoin bonds, and uh, uh, that's what it's all about here. And maybe sort of all coin swaps as well. Now, tell us all about these things. They're very exciting. So we obviously a derivatives trading platform. Our most popular product is a derivative that we created, a perpetual swap. It's essentially a leveraged derivative that doesn't have any expiry date and mimics, mimics margin trading. And this product trades about, I don't know, 5 to 10 billion U.S. dollars per day notional. It's the most liquid trading product for crypto. We also have other altcoin products where, say, Ethereum, EOS, Tron, all these different altcoins, we allow people to trade those on leverage as well. And so we have a full product suite of these uh, derivatives, and something that we're really keen on working on is fixed income. So in the next few weeks, uh, we'll be revealing that we have launched the first um, Bitcoin zero-coupon bond in the form of an ISDA loan with a few um, counterparties that we've identified because we want to start a market where people can actually earn yield on their Bitcoin by investing and loaning Bitcoin to some of the most stable companies in the space. What are the biggest risks going ahead, though, for a trading platform such as yours? Obviously, we hold other people's Bitcoin. Uh, if we get hacked, traders can lose their collateral. And that's the same with, with any exchange. And we always caution traders, only hold Bitcoin or other crypto assets in the amount that you're actually going to trade with on an exchange. The purpose of Bitcoin and these crypto assets is to become your own financial institution and custody your own assets. Don't leave them on the exchange if you don't need them. Quickly, what do you make of Facebook's idea of Libra at the moment? It's a long way off you. I think it will destroy commercial and central banks. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe. If you do like what you're listening to, please inform your friends and family. Because a very imperative time we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, the plan no longer works. The game is definitely rigged. I want to thank those who purchased the book, Crypto Teacher and NWO Book. Those who, those who have donated to the Cash App and Patreon, much love. Remember, I'm doing an actual newsletter each month starting in the summer for the Patreon and Cash App people. Now, guys, we want to get into Bitcoin first. Uh, like I stated, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, we normally get a leg up as far as with the weekend. Because what? Institutional investors come in on the weekends. Guys, they're playing the same game. We can't fall for the same game. Like I stated, stable coins last night, it went down to 99. Boom, we go up. So, guys, inst institutional investors coming on the weekends. I showed you the video. I played a little bit today. So, guys, we have to understand this is a game. We got to get a part of the game. They leave out Sunday night, Monday morning. 
we get a leg down and then we come right back up. So guys, just make sure you focus on the stable coins. Now getting into Bitcoin news. Uh, we see Bitcoin, uh, you know, overseas selling at a premium of 15% uh, in March when everything, of course, really hit bad in the February, beginning of March. It was, overseas was getting a 15% premium. That means what? We hit the bottom. So the fact is that I think we were probably at about uh, six high sixes, low sevens back then. So we definitely hit a bottom there. It's like I said, the only thing we're doing right now is creating higher lows guys we're not in the bull market yet these are just higher lows we're going to have ups and downs botcom cme uh bitmex at the end of the month all oh, we're still going to be going up and down but you have to take advantage of this trade make your money move out get yourself in a stable coin so you're not paying big fees to, to move out and then come right back in and that's how you do it Invest in the actual crypto that you want, make your money, come out, go into a stable coin where your money stays stable. Once we uh, come back down, buy again. So you're just buying the ups and downs. If you're not a trader, you just want to buy low and sell high, you can keep doing that because we do it every single month until we hit this bull market. Now, uh, basically, I'm going to save the significant news for, uh, for the last crypto update. But we have uh, Sigma Bank. It's the first uh, bank to accept XRP. As we know, that's why I stated, guys, XRP is going to be stable. A bank is not going to invest in something that's going to be volatile, guys. XRP is not going to be this big price margin. If a bank is accepting XRP and allowing people to use it, that means it's going to be stable. Same way XLM is going to be stable. But I, I, I went over that a hundred times. Uh, basically, we have uh, Uphold, the digital platform, seen an increase in their uh, digital volume. So, guys, everybody is running to crypto right now. Everybody wants to get educated. You see the searches getting higher. So, we need to understand that crypto is really about to hit once this regulation pop off. And normally, it's, just like I said, it's going to happen this summer. We'll have a Bitcoin ETF and then we off to the races in the fall. Now, lastly, for the Bitcoin news, we had uh, Bitcoin over the counter sell off. When we hit that 9,000, it was selling pressure, guys. Guys, that's how I said this is all a game. So basically, you had the Fed come in, pump money, the stock market went up, cryptos went uh, way up. And then, of course, we had that sell off. They sold, they got out. And then, it's like I said, institutional investors come in on the weekends. Guys, this is all a game. So make sure you're looking at the OTC market also. A lot of times you can't see the whole book because a lot of it is dark pool, like I stated uh, in my previous uh, video, the dark pool video coming to light, uh, Bitcoin from coming from dark to light. But some of it you can see. So, uh, guys, I think it's uh, OKEX and another company. I forgot what the other one is. Uh, Hubo. Uh, that covers OTC. Uh, but getting into regular markets, guys, uh, basically we had uh, Warren Buffett saying that the stocks are overvalued, so we, that's an easy signal for a stock crash. Guys, we all know he's a part of the plan, billionaire. We already know things is overvalued. They've been overvalued. We're going, uh, we were 19 times earnings, and then we dropped to about 13 times earnings, but we still 13 times earnings. Come on, guys. A lot of these companies not even making money. They still stock keep going up. Tesla, no money. Netflix, no money. None of these companies are making any earnings, but they keep going up. Uh, and also Amazon. That's another company people don't understand. They don't. They haven't made any money, but they keep going up. Uh, but Amazon. Uh, the last topic. Amazon is allowing their workers to work from home until October. Guys, this is going to be the normal. That's what they wanted to do: is move people home. Now they don't have to worry about paying for these big buildings, real estate. They're saving using your internet. And it's like I said, every, everything is going to, internet is going to be free anyway just because of the digital way that we're going towards. But this is just a phase. Your kids are going to be at home, uh, you know, going to school from home. Only thing they're doing is moving us over to virtual reality. That's all. But guys, that's all I have for you. Don't forget about uh, the books, Crypto Teacher and W.O. book. Also, the Cryptos, Coinbase, BitTrue, Binance. If you're new to Cryptos, 
Don't forget about your stocks. You have Cobalt, your chip stocks, your gaming, your bank stocks. Never bet against the banks. The C word, the biotech stocks, because they sell in the C word. You also have at home stocks. Don't forget about investing in those. Remember the C word, at home stocks are temporary. You also have 26 million people out of work. Don't forget about the weed and alcohol stocks. They're definitely going up. Y'all have a wonderful day.